All right, adventurers. Welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Liz, I'm in the middle. Oh my god. What does Liz want? What does Liz want? Let's answer the phone. Oh, hey. Good afternoon. What's up? This is Liz. Hey, listen. Listen. I entered the drawing on the sixth floor of the Goldenrod Department Store. For $300, you have a chance to receive a TM. It's a great deal. But I tried 10 times and all I got was berries. I don't think I'm lucky enough to win a top prize. Okay, I'll call you later. All right, so apparently there's a lottery that you can enter in a city called Goldenrod. Y'all remind me, when we get to Goldenrod City, remind me, we need to enter this lottery. We, we got some, we, I got some lucky, lucky luck about me. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know how much of the intro I got done, so we're just going to nix it for now. Let's take a look at our current team. Starting out with our boy Perry, the leader of Team Snaps and Claps Silver Mode. Uh, Perry, the brave primplup who evolved last episode. Uh, his moveset, Pound, Peck, Bubble, and Metal Claw. It's a pretty good moveset. If you ask me. Lady, the relaxed smoochum. Uh, pound, lick, sweet kiss, and dash. <laughs> she only has three moves. She's getting there. She's getting there. And then we have Quiet, the naughty whismer, who knows pounding up roar. And finally, we have Buzz, the naive combi, who has sweet scent and gust. I need to work on Quiet and Buzz. I need to work on getting them up there. I don't want I don't want them to just have two moves, to be honest. I want them to be running with the rest of the team. Alright. So last episode we went in the slowpoke well. That was interdasting. Um let's go ahead and get those Pokeballs now before I forget. I'm be highly, highly upset if I don't get my Pokeballs. So let's see. What you got? What you got? What you got? Pokeballs. Let's get ten. We'll buy ten Pokeballs. And as everybody knows, when you buy 10 Pokeballs, you get a commemorative item to go along with it. You get a Premier Ball. It's basically the same thing as a Pokeball. It's just different colors. Works the same. Um, that's all we're going to buy. F oh, wait. Let's, let's get potions. We did use a lot of potions last episode. Uh, potions right here. Well, wait, let's get five. We can get five. We, let's get five potions. We should be fine. All right. And now let's talk to this attendant up here. The, this clerk up here, I should say. What do you sell? Blue mail, heel balls, and net balls. Um, net balls work better on water and bug types. We already have... Well, we don't really have control over what we run into, but this area is normally good for having a lot of water types and a lot of bug types. So I see why they sell the ball, net balls here. Heel balls work the same as Pokeballs, except when you use them to catch a Pokemon, they are immediately healed on your team. They won't have low health. The same way everyone else has had low health when we caught them. Is it worth it, though? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure if it'll be worth it, so I'm really not hyped about buying either one of those. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and head on. Now, there's a couple of things we can do here. Uh, we're in Azalea Town, which has its own gym. We could go right to the gym, or we could explore the area to the west of the gym. Uh-oh. I went too far, and it looks like we're stuck in a battle. Okay. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Quit lying. Are you serious? Then let's see how good you are. It looks like it's been decided what we're doing today. We are fighting against Silver once again. Silver, who stole that Charmander from the lovely Professor Elm. He has a Squirtle too? Bruh, you're cheating. How do you have two starters? I want two starters. Let's catch Squirtle with a, a Metal Claw. Bruh is cheating. Oh no, this isn't gonna be good at all. Squirtle withheld or withdrew. He raised the defense. All right, we're gonna have to go with a. Oh no, he's water type too. This isn't gonna be good at all. Tail whip. He's gonna lower our defense. All right, Squirtle, I see you. I see you. I see you clearly. Here's a peck. We need a crit from Perry. Another withdraw. This isn't going to be good. He's holding off. All of our moves that we can use either won't do much because it's the same type or won't do much because they're physical and he's raised his defense so hot. Oh, that crypto. Oh, that crypto. Soon as I said it. 
All right, Perry. I need you to land this peck. No. Oh, tail whip. Don't heal. Please don't heal your Squirtle. Yes. Okay, good. Perry, I'm going to switch you out because your defense is way too low. Good work, Perry. Proud of you. Proud of you. A uh, Hulk Pip. We're going to switch Hulk, uh, for Hulk Pip. Hulk Pip. We're going to put out Lady. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we going to keep. Let's do Sweet Kiss. It'll confuse. Oh, no. We're stunned. It'll confuse Hulk Pip. Come on. Come on, lady. Yes. No! The attack missed. Let's try it again. A tackle. Bruh. That tackle, though. Come on, lady. You can't miss this one. Dang. Good. I'm a little bit scared to send Perry back out. Hop if it's part grass. And with Primple up being... Oh, I'm sorry. Perry being part water. It ain't gonna be good. It isn't gonna be good. But I think... I think if I use Peck against it, it'll work. It'll be pretty good. Uh, Hop it, but it's also part flying. Good work. Good work. Here's a Peck. Yes. Yes, it's the old oh, Crypto. Go ahead, Perry. And here's Charmeleon. He evolved as Charmander. All right. I'm here for it. Charmeleon. Say, you've got a lot of nerve coming here. You nerve this. Nerve these bubbles. Uh oh, smoke screen won't be good. Smoke screen won't be good. That accuracy drop. Come on. Come on, Perry. Tighten up. Dragon Rage. It deals 40, doesn't it? Damn! Come on, Perry! That's ridiculous. There's no way I could lose to a wimp like you. I'm scared. He knows Dragon Rage. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. <laughs> Dragon Rage always deals 40 damage. So if Charmeleon is going to go first and he does Dragon Rage, Perry's dead. Perry's dead and then we are stuck. And then we are stuck. Let's test the waters. Let's test the waters. We need to get Perry out of there. Whoever I send out, if he uses Dragon Rage, they are dead. I'm going to send Buzz. If he doesn't use Dragon Rage, I'm sorry. Whether or not he uses Dragon Rage, I'm going to send someone else out. Or I'm going to use the turn to heal Perry. I'm sending out Buzz. That's not fair. That's so not fair. He's got Dragon Rage this early. There's Rage. I'm so sorry, Buzz. I'm so sorry, Buzz. Buzz is out. Okay, so let's send out. Oh, man. I got to pick between Quiet and Lady. If we're looking at it on the stat front, if we're looking at it for stats, I got to send. I think I got to send Lady out. Oh, man. This is a really hard choice. I think I need to send Quiet out. If we're looking at it from stats, I got to send out. I gotta send out quiet. I just don't wanna. I'm sending out lady. I'm sending lady. Quiet would be really great late game. I'm sending out lady. I'm so sorry, lady. This turn is gonna be used to heal Perry. In the event that lady doesn't die, we're not switching into Perry. Otherwise, we'd still be in the same spot. Oh, shoot. This is only... Oh, no. I might have still doomed. I might have doomed everyone but Perry. I should have used the super potion. Okay. Quiet. Quiet needs to go out and get hit with an ember. Otherwise, the only thing we have left on this team is Perry. I, I'm the worst. I'm the worst trainer. I'm the worst. Damn, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Quiet. Oh, man, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I, I, I feel really bad now. 
I feel really bad. I just killed off my entire team. A smoke screen. Come on, Perry. Come on, Perry. I'm the worst. And it didn't even. Come on, Perry. Oh no, oh no, come on, Perry. Another screen. Come on. I just got my entire team killed. There was, there was a saying I had in the Fire Red playthrough. There was a saying I had whenever something like happened, like that happened. It's called a clown ass mistake. I just made the biggest clown ass mistake. I had the perfect strategy, I just didn't pay attention enough. And that clown ass strategy, that clown ass mistake, cost me pretty much my entire team. The only member left right now is Perry and whatever's in the box. I don't think there's anything in the box because we have an open space on our team. I hate the weak. Pokemon, trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket too. They think they are big and tough as long as they are in a group. But get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. Here's mom. Mom, what do you want? Hello? Oh, hi, Chill. How are you? Well, well, I just got a badge. I just got a badge, saved Team Rocket, and got all of my team killed in a matter of, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes. How are you doing, Mom? I found a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, but I asked the delivery man to take it to you, so you just stop by the nearest Pokemon department store and pick it up. I know it'll be useful. What will it be? What did she buy? I wonder if there are... I wonder if randomizing the items changes the effect or changes the list of items that mom can buy for you. Good evening. Chill, isn't it? I have a package for you from your mom. Here you go. She got me some babiri berries. She got me some babiri berries. What do babiri berries do? What do babiri berries do, mom? This uh, and, and it was useful? How useful? Oh, if held by a Pokemon, it weakens a foe's super effective steel type attack. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. It's just what I needed. I woke up today and said, you know, it'd be great if I go to work, if I come home, and then I get me some Babiri Berries. Thanks, Mom. Let's go ahead and deposit the rest of the team. I'm sorry, I'm losing. I'm snapping on Mom. I shouldn't. I should respect her. I should. I should show her some honor. But she just bought me some Babiri Berries, and my team is dead. Clown ass mistakes. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, team. <sighs> Let's move everybody. Here you go. You guys were all prospects, except for uh, except for Buzz. Buzz, Buzz was doomed to die. But you two, you two were prospects. I'm. We're back here. It's me and me and Primple up against the world. And we don't have anybody. Oh, we do. Who's in this box? Viper. Viper. Welcome to the team, buddy. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. So it's us and Viper. Let's heal up. So as I was saying before, as I was saying before we got to that battle we weren't ready for, we could go west just a little bit. There's there's a there's an there's a, an, a, an event that we could do if we head west. I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, we're 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 not in a good condition to go fight uh to go fight in the, uh, what's it called? Go fight in the, the Zalia Town Gym. We're definitely not ready for that. We can also, one thing, one of, one thing that can also happen is we can go back to the Dark Cave. Uh, I just need to figure out how far back that is. And I'll probably do that in, in downtime between this session and the next session. Uh, but we can go back and get an encounter there. Uh, let's talk to this man here. Elex Forest is big. Be careful. Don't get lost. Hi, ma'am. This forest is watched over by its protector. Stay out of mischief. All right. And, I mean, there's not much we can do. It's me and Primple up against the world. It's me and Primple, or uh, Perry against the world. This is the Ilex Forest. A new area, a new encounter. Uh, an opportunity for an encounter, I should say. 
Oh, this man. Oh, man. My boss is going to be angry. The Farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face towards you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? All right, so this is a puzzle that was in the original game. It's just slightly different. It wasn't branches on the ground that make them turn towards you like that. Uh, it, it was just you had to sneak up on them. So sneaking up on them means you can't run in their eyesight. You can't run in their line of vision. So I need to sneak up on him by running up behind him like so. Oh, oh, here's an encounter. What do we got? It's a Kakuna. We it's a wild Kakuna. Well, let's let's not let's not act like we don't need Pokemon on the team. Let's throw a fastball. Fastball is it fastball? No. Fastballs make it easy to catch fast Pokemon. Not quick uh not throw them quickly. That's quick balls. Quick balls you wanna throw them on the very first turn for them to have their maximum effect. So we're just gonna throw a Pokeball. Kakuna's not that quick. We can't battle this thing. If we battle this thing, it's gonna kill it. It knows Harden. That, that's the extent of its abilities, Harden. Let's try it again. Come on, Kakuna. Don't act like you don't wanna join Team Snaps and Claps. You don't wanna join Team Snaps and Claps. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we'll switch to, uh, we'll switch to Viper. Uh, Viper, what do you know? Rap and Poison Sting? That'll have to do, buddy. That'll have to do. Come on. I mean, your Intimidate's gonna lower its attack, but when all it knows is Harden, I don't think that matters too much. I don't think it matters. Here we go. That Poison Sting, though. Between the Spark Poison. Poison Sting's also a physical attack. That defense is way too high. Here's a wrap. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. This is going to take forever. This is going to take forever. Uh, can we? Oh, we can't poison poison types. I think Gen 4 is when this started that you can't poison poison types. You can't paralyze electric types with electric type attacks. You can't burn fire types with fire type attacks and so on and so forth. So we can't poison it. That's out of the question. Here's a Pokeball. We, you know, we are at wit's end at when we are battling a Kakuna so that we can catch it because we need members of the team. That is how you know. That is how you know this is hard mode, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you know. Here's a wrap. Defense is way too high. Come on. Come on, Kakuna.
How many Pokeballs is that? Six? Seven? This Kakuna called that six or seven. That is how you know you're at wit's end when you need a Kakuna on your team. Kakuna, the Cocoon Pokemon. From this form, it will grow into an adult. As its body becomes softer, the external shell hardens. Give a nickname to Kakuna, of course. Of course we will. They call, you cost me six or seven Pokeballs. You know what we're going to call you? You know what we're going to call you? Let's see. What are we going to call you? <laughs> Waste. I wasted too many Pokeballs on this Kakuna. All right, so we're still sneaking up on this wonderful Farfetch'd. Let's talk to her from behind. Qua! That's one of, uh, what's his name? His, his uh, relatives. Fetty Wap. We snuck up on him, and we caught him. Wow, you found a Farfetch'd. Thank you. But there's one more missing. If you step on a branch, it will face that way. Remember, that's your chance to catch it. Sneak up on it slowly from behind. Let's see what we gonna do. What we gonna do? Oh no, please don't be another Kakuna. It's a seed dot. We could add a seed dot on the team. We could add a grass seed dot, but no. No, no. We must have found a Kakuna first. We must have. Alright, so the other one have to be over here somewhere, yes? No, no. Slugma! There are Slugma in the forest. We could have had one of our older members return. But no. Oh, no, 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 no. We had to find the Kakuna. Let's see. We're going to get this first. It's a Carbos. Here we go. We can sell that. Make some cash flow. Oh, he's that way. Okay, so let's see. If we want to sneak up on him. We must go this way. He turned to face us. All right, Kakuna. More Kakunas for your soul. More Kakunas. Uh, let's see. We could. tired of running the Kakuna, so what we're gonna do is use a Max Repel. I normally don't do nothing like this. I normally don't do this sort of thing. But we're gonna use a Repel, a Max Repel, because I am tired of running into Kakuna. Alright? Liz, I can't answer the phone right now. I'm, ha I'm handling a thing. Boom! He saw us! He saw us! We need to catch it from behind. Catching it from the side does not count as sneaking up on this wonderful, uh, this wonderful old Pokemon. Here we go, how about we come here? And then we run here. Yeah, we caught him. Fetty Wops are the cousin. Snuck up and caught it from behind. Wow, you got both, you got me both of them. Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon will obey me because I don't have a badge. Phew, you saved me. Hey, where's, where's uh Perry? Ha! Ah, my far and fetched! You found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? Oh, I know. Here, take this. He gave us HM01. Gave him HM01. That's the HM cut. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. So for us to progress through the... Through the forest onto the next city, we need to cut through, cut down this tree, but we can't do that because we don't have the badge from Azalea Town. Uh, ta Azalea Town, Azalea City. Let's check the map. We can check the map. It's always, it's not, it's not a question whether or not we can check the map. Azalea Town. We need the badge from Azalea Town, which we don't have just yet, so we can't progress just yet. So that pretty much means the only thing left to do is to go back to Azalea Town. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. We could also go get the encounter from the dark cave. Uh, but head back and get the gym badge. Now, our team, our team, I was already saying before that battle, we didn't anticipate that our team might not be ready for this gym. 
we are definitely not ready for this gym just yet. So I'm not going to go in. We'll probably go in on the next episode, okay? I want to train up the team just a little bit. Get back to where... Get back to where I can feel comfortable. Because Perry's fine, but Viper and Waste clearly aren't. Alright? So we're going to heal up and we're going to call it here. And I think... I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I think we'll be able to do this next time on the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Well, that's that subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like the Nuzlocke run, as well as everything else that all play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on All Play. How you doing, Perry? If you if you're relaxing, we got one of those Pokemon guys. I'll see you later. <laughs>